An accent wall is any wall that features a contrasting color, design, pattern or material in comparison with the other walls in the room. Accent wall brings a dramatic change in the look of the room. It draws visual attention and is often used as a focal point in a room. Hello, this is Savita and you are watching Savi's Creations. For all these years, I have done many projects with paints and stencil on furniture but not on the wall. For some days now, I have wanted to paint an accent wall in our formal living room since this is the most social room in any house. This is a place where you gather with your friends, family and neighbors and it should be very welcoming and lively. So in today's video, I will be showing you how I choose the paint color and the pattern for the formal living room accent wall. I also share some of the challenges that I have faced, tips, tricks and more. Hope you like this video. If you like, please give me a thumbs up and also share your comments which encourages me a lot. Now without any further delay, let's go into the video. This is our formal living room where the walls are painted light grey. I did not add any decor to this room on purpose as I wanted to first do the accent wall. But with a wide range of choices for accent walls, deciding on one was not easy. Later, considering the budget and time, I decided to use paints as it is the easiest way to create an accent wall. Since the front wall of the house and the fireplace are in brick pattern, I have decided to go with brick wall pattern here as well to match. The next confusion was in choosing the color for the brick wall. I had three options in mind, red, dark grey and white. But I felt red and dark grey will appear too prominent or bold for our wall, so I have decided to go with white to contrast with the light grey which is already on the wall. I have ordered this brick pattern stencil from Amazon for $1.35. I have provided the Amazon link in the description. For the paint, I have used off-white latex paint that the previous house owner had left behind. So I didn't spend anything on paints. I purchased a paint tray, some masking tape and a small roller brush. Everything put together, the cost of this project excluding paint is around $1.50. I have mixed the paint well before started using it. I have started from the top left corner of the wall and placed a stencil sheet on the wall and used some masking tape to hold it. I have taken a small amount of paint on the roller brush and rolled it over the stencil. I deliberately left out patches so as to not to cover the whole brick pattern in white. I wanted the base light grey color to show out through those patches. This gives a real feel and finish for the bricks. Since the wall already had the orange peel texture on the surface that added to the feel of the real brick, it was quite easy to paint it. After painting the top left corner, I have moved the stencil down thinking I could paint the next row. But later I realized that it was not the right way to proceed. The paint on the top section had not dried. The tape holding the stencil was over the wet paint from the row above and hence kept falling off. I realized that in order to proceed, I had to move to the top right section and allow some time for the paint to dry before moving down the next row below. So I have moved to the top right section. I have carefully overlapped the brick patterns and painted. From then on, it was smooth flow. You just need to repeat the process covering the wall from left to right first and then moving down with each row. It took just an hour to complete the whole wall. 
It is advisable to clean the stencil after a few uses to prevent the paint from leaking under the stencil. A little amount of paint had leaked under the stencil but since this is a brick wall pattern, I didn't worry too much about perfection. But if you are painting a well defined designs or pattern that needs perfect edges, you should pay more attention. Don't forget to remove excess paint from the brush to avoid paint smudges under the stencil. In addition, it is important that you align the stencil correctly with every additional patch matching the previous one. Finally, coming to the finishing stage for the edges and corners. But first, I have masked the edges of adjacent walls. The next stage was challenging. For the edges and corners, the stencil has to be folded and this was not easy to paint. It created a lot of imperfections. After some initial trials, I decided it would be easier to do freehand painting to finish the edges. While doing the freehand painting, I have left out patches through which the grey color from the base wall paint showed out to give that natural look. It took more than 2 hours just to finish the edges. Finally, I got to the point of completion and I proceeded to decorate the wall using some of the decor that I already had at home. The project gave a satisfying experience. This simple low budget accent wall draws the focus in the room and I received nice comments from friends and guests. The ethnic wall decors complement the rustic brick pattern and provide a lively appearance to the room. Hope that you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.